This is Mansoor Sohail from My Learning Center and I welcome you to today's podcast Work from Home Business Concepts Here are several great enterprises you can start run and grow from the comfort of your own home All of these work from home enterprises have the following advantages low startup costs ease of entry high income potential home based and operated worldwide sales potential residual recurring and or passive income number 1 advising a consultant is a subject matter expert who for a fee advises businesses or individuals on a variety of issues many times we believe that our knowledge talents or abilities are unexceptional many people on the other hand lack those same assets and would gladly pay us for our expertise and services while it is feasible to make a living by consulting with individuals performing services for business is where the big money lies do you have expertise with bookkeeping accounting taxation or other business related topics some people have made a lot of money focusing on small business consulting are you a computer expert with a background in business or the internet you may generate money with online design internet marketing search engine optimization or something else some lawyers have specialized in intellectual property and computer law by combining their legal skills with their passion of the internet number 2 locating A finder is a person who for a price locates something that a company or individual requires. The amount paid to the finder for locating what was needed is known as a finder's fee. Finder's fees are paid for locating money, loans, equipment leasing and so on. Equipment mining construction and so on personnel businesses for sale sites quick food franchises vending machines and so on and just about anything else and just about anything else that people are willing to pay for you can earn finder's fee by simply matching sellers and buyers public auctions an auction is a sale of items to the highest bidders an internet auction also known as online auction or an e auction is an online auction where you can purchase and sell products thousands of people now make a life a fortune by selling goods and services on eBay and other auction sites you can too number 4 drop shipping drop shipping is a way of selling things without having to keep inventory on hand when you make a sale you contact the manufacturer or authorized distributor who then ships the product to the consumer along with your invoice and shipping label there are no charges for warehousing shipping or inventory number 5 affiliate programs a commission based affiliate or associate program is a means of selling things on the internet when someone you refer to a website buys the firm you work for gives you a commission In many circumstances 
you can also profit from the efforts of those you promote to the affiliate program. You can also broaden your product line by participating in and marketing many affiliate programs. Number six, web mastering. A webmaster is an online expert in charge of all aspects of a website. Online site design, logo, banner, or graphic design, web hosting, e-commerce, internet marketing, web programming, scripting, security, website maintenance, copywriting, and mailing list administration are just a few of the areas where businesses require assistance. Number seven, self-publishing. A self-publisher is someone who generates, produces, and sells information goods on their own. Books, pamphlets, movies, compact discs, electronic books, files, databases, private websites, and other media are all examples of information goods. Your information goods are one of a kind. Your products are completely under your control and ownership. Number eight, publish immediately. An instant publisher sells reprint or resale rights to information goods created by others. Such goods are frequently sold by self-publishers to complement their own information offerings. Number nine, foreign trade. Importing and exporting are both part of international trade. Importing is the process of purchasing goods and services from vendors in another country. Selling goods and services to customers in another country is what exporting entails. And finally, number 10, ordering by mail. The term mail order refers to a means of conducting commerce via the postal service. Direct mail can be used to sell goods and services and also via catalog, magazines, newspaper, radio, television, website, and other media. Customers can place orders by mail or by other methods like fax, telephone, internet, etc. Orders can be sent by mail or other methods such as by courier for physical goods or by fax, email, telephone or electronic files for information. Thanks for listening. Visit us at https colon forward slash forward slash my dash learning dash center dot teachable dot com for quality ebooks, audiobooks and HD video courses. Join our Facebook group My Learning Center and subscribe to our channel My Learning Center on YouTube.